Good morning. It's Becky Boltlote um, from Newport News, Virginia. I am a creative memories advisor, if you've never um, seen me before. And um, today I have a really cool scrapbooking tip. And um, this is probably one of my favorite tools for doing really quick, easy page layout ideas. So I'm going to be showing this today. So you might want to grab yours and a, and a piece of paper, um, actually two pieces of paper where you like both sides. And you can actually do this with me because it's really super fast and easy. OK, um, I'll also be using my straight trimmer. And um, if you don't have one of ours, um, you can still use your, your trimmer. This one is not really specific to some of the capabilities that ours has, um, but you probably should get ours. It's, it's really good. Um, but anyways, um, thank you for watching. Um, one thing I want to remind you about, because it just started yesterday at one, um, this is a great time if you've never ordered from Creative Memories to pick an advisor. And if you don't have one, I'd love for you to pick me. But um, find, a, find an advisor so that you can give um, one of our um, hard working women across our um, country um, and actually internationally um, an opportunity to make a little bit of extra money for their efforts of serving those that um, have pictures. Um, but um, it, it started yesterday at one o'clock. It runs for a little longer than a week. So you don't want to wait too long because sometimes they run out of things. But there are six exclusive paper packs. Um, they are designer paper packs. So there'll be packs in you know, our traditional pack of, of papers. Um, so there's there'll be 10 sheets in there, two of each sheet. And um, each of these are designer ones to match either current lines or lines yet to come. So it's kind of a teaser. And um, so they will coordinate really well. Um, so um, we have Happy Hauntings. Um, it, it's called Shades of, and so that will match our recently released Halloween line. Um, there will be one that matches our recently released Croptoberfest line. Um, there'll be a Shades of um, Golden Harvest, so that will match our current Golden Harvest lines. All three of those are relatively recent lines. If you liked those lines, you might want some more paper. It makes them go longer. And plus, it'll give you some different looks. All right. And then there's three others. There's one uh, that will be um, that will match our Christmas line that's coming out um, next month, I think. Um, there'll be one that's going to match um, a new line called Gold and Silver, which um, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with that. And then there'll be one more. Um, it's called Pole or something. That one. I could lick. It's it's really pretty with lots of, you know, really well, I'm really into like this color tone, like the the turquoisey um aqua-ish. And that one is in that tone. So, anyways, there's six of them. If you pick any six, and it doesn't have to be one of each, you could fall in love with, say, you know, the the one I just told you about, and you could get three of those, and you could maybe get three of the Christmas. A lot of us take a lot of Christmas pictures. So you don't have to have one of each. In fact, if you have a friend and she orders three and you order three, if y'all kind of combine your order, um, that would be good because if you get six, you get a free cardstock pack. And the cardstock pack is some of our newest cardstock colors. You get two of each. So it's really very splittable. You take one of each and she takes one of each. So anyways, it's a pretty good value um, and um, a great time to shop with us if you've never shopped with us before. So go check them out. You can see them on, on creativememories.com. Remember to please pick an advisor. If you don't have one, I would love to help you. Um, so let's go ahead and see some page layout ideas. All right, so um, I'm gonna change my screen, I hope, because I actually, uh -huh, that's funny. Now you can't see me at all. Let's go to this one and see how we're doing. Da, 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 da. See, it wasn't so out of whack, right? Let's move this up a little bit. All right, so I have two sheets where I do like the front and back. Um, this has ducks on them, so I'm going to put them at the right orientation before I start so that my ducks are upwards. And then what I'm going to do, and I do this a lot of times, um, I like to cut my, my papers at the same time to save me time um, on my making my page spread. So we're going to fold this together like this. All right. Now, for those of you that like measurements, you're not going to like this, but I'm going to tell you, I promise it doesn't really matter. 
Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of shove this in. You can go as far in as you want or not very far. It's up to you. All right. Da, 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 da. Because we're cutting them both at the same time, they're going to match. So it, it's up to you. Do you do you want um, a big corner or not? All right. So I'm going to maximize it. Uh, my cutting space is it's going from here to here. So um, I can put, pull it in as much as I want to. All right. Now, remember when you I like to when I use this tool, I like to start my blade in the middle and then go backwards and forwards. That way it won't catch the edges and tear at all. All right. So I'm going to do this. All right. I'm going to pull this out. Pull this aside. One other thing, and now I'm going to grab my straight trimmer. All right, and now what I'm doing, these are my flat edges. I'm going to cut a little bit off. I'm going to give you a measurement on this one. I did a half an inch, all right? One half inch. And if you're cutting on this side of the trimmer, the short side, it's actually your first bold line is your is your one half inch mark. How do I know? Because this is my one inch. So if one railroad track would take a quarter inch off and then another railroad track would be my half inch. OK, so I'm going to trim that off. You could save it. You might use it for something. Um, I like sometimes to write on these. Um, the dark color makes it a little tricky, but sometimes you can use this. Just add some scraps to your page. Did I just cut off there? I think I did. Um, so we're going to go this other direction. I don't think I flipped it. Oh, now I'm having second thoughts. I wasn't paying attention to myself. Let's see. Yes, that was here, right? Yes, I feel I feel pretty confident about that. So we're going to rotate and do the other edge. OK, another thing I'm going to do while I'm at it, just to save myself a little bit of time, I'm going to, um, you've seen me do this before. Um, I think I would like a circle here. So you can either grab your circle or you could do oval on this, whatever. You could do your oval patterns with your um, circle and oval cutting system. Let's go ahead and do that. I haven't used this one in a while. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my blue blade. I'm using a smaller one because it's towards the top of my picture. And when you're building page layouts, visually it looks better for your bigger, chunkier things to be towards the bottom and your smaller things to be towards the top. Um, if you use your bl blue blade, then that means on the outside of your cutting template, when I go to cut my photographs, I can use my red or green blade and it will fit perfectly in that spot. So let's go ahead and do this. And um, because I'm cutting through two pieces of paper, I'm going to put a little bit more pressure than I ordinarily do to make sure that I get through all of it. Some people even like to stand up to make sure they don't miss. Okay. So let me see what color I would like. How about a nice light blue? I should have pulled that before. Um, oh my goodness. I am out of light blue. Oh, how about dark blue? Dark blue would even be better. All right, so I am going to go ahead and lay these down like this. And I am going to put this here. Is that pretty? Okay, so in my opinion, this is absolutely beautiful just the way it is. But if you would like to put these back in, put them in this way. You know what I'm going to have to do? Well, I don't have to do it. I'll tell you what, see, see what's happening here. My ducks are sideways. And in fact, no, they're not. I was putting them in the wrong spot. All right, so this is my good friend, Melissa. I am going to tell her, I will call her back later. <laughs> All right, 
So is that super cute? So so when I cut off these little snippets, um, that's what gave me this nice thing to go through. So if you're building this directly into your albums, whatever color your album page is, is going to show through. So if you build on black, black's going to show through. If you build on white, white's going to show through in these two holes. All right. And then um, you've seen me do this before. We cut with the blue blade. So these are perfect mats if I had, if I wanted to do two ovals, you know, or, or save this for another time. I would probably put it like this, except for the ducks would, I'd probably put them up right side up. And then I could put actually two ovals on each side or save one of these for another paid spread. It, it's, it's up to you, but it's, it's paper that we could use another time. Um, and what I like to do with these is um, I, I store my leftovers for stuff in these files so um this is this is you quack me up by the way so if you like this paper design i love it it's really really pretty and um underutilized but it's called you quack me up um i would just store these if i wasn't going to use them now in one of these pockets so that i would see them next time easily another thing um i was telling my clients yesterday at our crop we're cropping again today but they're not here yet well almost everybody's not here yet um is these things. These are called fill and file sleeves, and they're made for a binder that we have to kind of organize your ABC sticker letters or your embellishments and stuff like that. But I really love these. A lot of our collections come with these laser borders. And once I open a pack, I tend to get them all tangled up. So I like to go ahead and store them, the leftovers in here, so I, I notice them and I'm able to use them better. And then they slide really nicely in these. These are called power project folders and they're designed for our stuff. So, of course, they're going to hold everything that we have that comes out with a line, you know, and then, of course, like up to 50 sheets of paper. So you can go crazy with it. So I wanted to point that out. So I hope that you like this. Let me show you some completed pages and some other tricks using the same concept. OK, so um, I'm going to go ahead and show you the completed version of this. This one I used golden harvest. And um, I flipped the paper a little different than the one that I just showed you to get a totally different look, but this was the exactly, exactly the same layout. I built on hot fudge uh, brown, so that's what's poking through here, but this was the, exactly the same thing. Down here is the layered borders that came out with Golden Harvest, um, and these are the embellishments that came out with Golden Harvest. I could lick those. Those are beautiful. These are stickers, and I actually popped, you can see how this has a little rise to it. I popped that one, um, super, super pretty, and um, I did not cut out holes. These are actually, I could have, I could have cut out holes, but I didn't. Um, this is just, I cut um, out of the designer print to get that look. Is that super pretty? Oh, what I will say is that this was a mat from the mat pack. I cut out the journal box part of it. The journal box I put here. So double, double use here uh, of those to get more bang for my buck. All right. Um, so that's the exact same one. And then here's one um, that's not the same look, but it's the same skill. This time I, I, I um, took my, my papers, I stacked them, and then I used my decorative trimmer as just a border. Uh, what's really important when you do that skill is that when you put your papers in to use this, don't put it up towards the top. Don't put it up down towards the bottom. Center it in between. And again, if you cut both pieces of paper at a time, it doesn't matter the measurement. Just decide how much of a border you want. Make sure it's centered in the space before you cut. All right. And then um, after you cut, um, you can actually flip the borders. So this was the front and back of this green piece of paper. So I just cut it at the same time flipped it over, put it in that space. Something I did here is I folded the papers back together, these back together, and I cut not a not a um, oval out of it, but I cut a rectangle out of it, a four and a half by six and a half rectangle. So my photo will fit perfectly in here and look like it's matted on white. So this is what your page would look like if you're working directly in your album with white pages, if you cut a four and a half by six and a half hole out. Do you like that? All right. And this is also Golden Harvest. These are the layered um, the layered embellishments. Um, these are uh, just pieces of paper that I cut. Um, 
and oh, oh, even cooler. So when I cut this out of this hole, I took that thing that I cut out of the hole and put it there. So these are from that. Is that super cool? All right. So I just went up the success ladder, right? <laughs> All right. So uh, one more page spread that I wanted you to see, and that's this one. I don't think I've showed you this before. I may have. But this is the same concept. You took your pieces of paper, you folded them together. I put it in at clearly a different angle than I showed you a second ago. And again, it doesn't matter, right? And I cut that. But then what I did is I put it back in and I cut a straight cut. All right. So I took my, my I folded it, cut that crazy cut, and then I scooted it in some more and cut a straight cut. And that piece of paper I took out completely. So I just took that piece of paper out completely and then laid everything back down to get this beautiful look right here. Do you like that? All right. And the reason why these letters are nice and super straight is I use this guy to help align my stickers. You just kind of put your little stickers on the little on the lip and then kind of mash them down. I think I showed that on another tip Tuesday. All right. So this is a uh, back to school line. Super pretty. This is your scallop blade that operates with this trimmer. We have lots of different blade options down here. If you don't have them all, get them. Um, we also have the capability to store an extra mat strip that you probably won't need for a very long time because these mat strips last a very long time and there's four different grooves on them. All right, these are embellishments. This is a mat from the mat pack. And I guess that's all I got for you. All right, so I am going to change back so I get to see you for a moment um before i say goodbye so anyways that's it for your tip tuesday thank you for watching and thank you for supporting creative memories and my fellow advisors um our um our website is creativememories.com um if you want to use me you want to put the backslash the the user slash becky below b-e-c-k-i-e-b-e-l-o-t-e -E -E. otherwise search for an advisor and, and support one of us thanks so much again and um I'll, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.